What's up, y'all? Superior Bryce 98, and today I'm going to share with you guys what characters I want to see in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. So, today we're going to focus on the Marvel side of things. And remember, this is my own opinion. You don't have to agree with me, but just sit back and enjoy the video. Now, the first character I want to make an appearance is Nightcrawler. Now, Nightcrawler is my favorite X Men by far, and he hasn't been in the game since Ultimate Alliance. And I think it will be great to have him in a fighting game especially like this and I can't imagine him having like his mix-ups with his teleportation and his sword like he would just be a great character overall and the next character I want to see is Carnage now Carnage is my all-time favorite villain in the Marvel Universe and y'all know how serious my Venom is yo so if Carnage is in Marvel's Capcom Infinite oh my god like, you guys will understand how happy I'll be if he's in this. Like, <laughs> yo, I'll, I'll be in the training room all day if Carnage is in this game. Like, you don't understand. Like, I'll spend hours in the lab trying to get my combos down. Now, the next character I want to see is Daredevil. Now, I didn't really like Daredevil as a kid, but when I started watching his Netflix show, I started to like him. And it'll be dope for him to be in the game because it'll get people hyped for season three and it will get the people that haven't watched the show interested to watch the show. And overall he'll just be a great character. Like he'll be mobile with his baton and have mix ups. And I want them to put his costume from the show in this game. Now the next character I want to see is Black Panther. Now it'll be stupid for Black Panther not to be in this because he has a movie coming out around the same time the game is gonna release. And I want him to be like Captain America movement wise, but aggressive as Wolverine because you know he can't really zone because he has claws. Now the next character I would like to see is Ant-Man. Now Ant-Man surprisingly is my favorite Marvel movie. And just like Daredevil, I never really liked him as a kid until I saw his movie. Now for him. I can see him as an assist character because I don't know anything else he can do besides grow larger and grow smaller. So we'll see, but he needs to be in this. So the next character I want to see is Luke Cage because the hype was real when his Netflix show came out. I'm telling you, with these Netflix shows, man, if these characters are in the game, it's going to promote their shows so heavily and that's going to be a smart business move by Capcom again. And I want him to be like Hulk, but a little bit faster. I think that would be a good fit for him. Now, the next character I want to see is Blade. Now, Blade is one of the dopest characters in the Marvel Universe, and he doesn't have as much clout as he used to back then. Now, if they put him in the game, it will show the hardcore fans like myself that Marvel still cares about Blade. And I feel like he'll play like Dante and Virgil, but he'll have like more mix-ups and more zoning tools. For example, his pistols, his throwing stars, you know, stuff like that. And I want his costume done right. I want it to look just like the movie. And like I said, we haven't seen him in the game since Ultimate Alliance, just like Nightcrawler. Now, the last character I want to see is Gamora. Now, as you all know, Gamora has a sword and a gun. Now, I hope she has both because that way she can be a zoning and a brawler. So I hope Capcom does that right. Now, I know there's going to be more Guardians of the Galaxy characters in this game, but I feel like Gamora fits perfectly in a fighting game because she's pretty much a warrior. And there you have it, y'all. That's my list of Marvel characters I want to see in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Now, I know there hasn't been any official confirmation that any X-Men characters will make it to the game, but it's a slight, slight possibility. All we need is 20th Century's Fox permission, and it's a wrap. Come on now, what's a Marvel game without any X-Men? Or Marvel vs. Capcom in general? But let me know which Marvel characters you guys want to see in the game. Make sure you comment down below. Also, like the video and please press the subscribe button. And next time, I'm going to make my list of Capcom characters I want to see in the game. I'll be dropping that video really soon. But until next time, I'll see y'all later.